Well, it was a warm one out there today, and tomorrow it's going to get even hotter. Here's a look at what we're tracking over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, our high temperatures will rival our record highs for the day. In fact, all we'll have to do is hit 98 degrees in Pueblo and 91 degrees in Colorado Springs to land ourselves in the record books. Enjoy it, though, because we are going to get noticeably cooler on Thursday, and along with that cooler air, we'll bring back the threat for heavy rain, which means we'll also bring back the threat, unfortunately, for flash flooding if any of those storms move over the burn scars. Won't have to worry about any of that tomorrow, though. Temperatures will be dropping overnight into the 50s and 60s, so a cool start to your Wednesday morning, but we'll have nothing but sunshine tomorrow early. We'll keep that sunshine in place through the early afternoon, but then by the late afternoon, we'll start to see the clouds building over the mountains, sliding over the interstate and toward the plains. Not looking like we'll see much of a chance for any storms tomorrow. Could get a sprinkle or two across the high country. That's about the best we can hope for as far as rain is concerned for your Wednesday afternoon. We'll clear the skies out as we head into your Wednesday night. Temperatures, as I mentioned, tomorrow are looking pretty hot. We'll hit 89 degrees in Colorado Springs and 98 in Pueblo. Temperatures in the 90s and triple digits across the lower Arkansas River Valley. Only slightly cooler, but still very warm for Leadville. 69 degrees, the high temperature there tomorrow. And as I mentioned, enjoy it because we do have changes headed our way by the end of the work week. We'll have 89 in Colorado Springs tomorrow. We drop it about 10 degrees as that cold front moves through. Cold front set to move through Thursday afternoon. Could fire off an isolated storm or two, but it looks like the best chance for storms really going to be on Friday and again on Saturday. These will be the two days when we could see some heavy rain over the Pikes Peak region. We'll have to monitor the burn scars closely. Check out those temperatures. Feeling a bit more September like. We'll be dropping and staying in the low 70s. To start you off on the weekend. Gradually warming back into the 80s, though, by early next week. In Pueblo tomorrow, we are expecting a very hot day. 98 degrees will be the high, and then we drop it to 87 on Thursday. We'll hit 80 degrees with a 10% chance for storms on Friday. Best chance for storms in Pueblo will be on Saturday. Sunday looking to be the drier of the two weekend days, and then we'll dry things out completely by Monday and Tuesday of next week. Canyon City tomorrow, your high temperature, 97 degrees. We'll hit 86 on Thursday. That cold front moves through. Temperatures Friday drop into the low 80s, and then we'll see 70s come Saturday. A 20% chance for storms both Saturday and again on Sunday. We'll be making our way back into the 80s, though, for the second half of the weekend. In Teller County, your high temperature tomorrow, 78 degrees, so warm in Teller County as well. And then we drop 73 on Thursday, 69 on Friday with temperatures sticking around the 60s for the entire weekend with about a 20 to 30 percent chance for storms lasting into Sunday. As you're planning your weekend, just know Sunday is looking to be the drier of the two weekend days. But we have some big changes ahead of us, so enjoy the warmth while it lasts. Robin Rana, back to you.